My name is Dr. P.D. Joshi. I'm the chief coordinator for the dental department of Lilavati Hospital. And I also work over here as a consultant endodontist, which means I'm a root canal specialist. And I work to save the teeth in the department. I would like to uh, talk about increasing the awareness amongst our countrymen on this uh, occasion of the National Dental Hygiene Month. The mouth is the gateway to your body, which means when you eat, when you drink, you swallow a bacteria because they live in your mouth uh, with your food and drink. In fact, even when you involuntarily swallow your saliva, even in, during your sleep, you are swallowing these bacteria. And from there, they can travel into your body and cause infection. You can also inhale these bacteria when you're breathing and they can lodge in your throat, they can lodge in your lungs and they can cause infection over there as well. So they can cause infection anywhere in the body when they travel from your mouth in the body. But besides that, they can cause infection even in the mouth and they can cause problems like cavities, gum problems with plaque and tartar formation. Now these problems are big burning problems because 90% of the population in India suffers from these pro problems. Bacteria attack the teeth and they cause cavities and produce ugly looking black holes which can also affect the patient's appearance. The person's diet because of the pain and food loss over there causing discomfort and uh, it can affect the general health simultaneously. These bacteria can travel further deeper into the tooth and can cause <coughs> infection of the root canal area and ca cause severe pain and patient may require uh, root canal treatment over there. They can cause gum problems where the gums can bleed, they can swell up and they can loosen up, thereby causing loosening up of the teeth and these teeth eventually fall off or they have to be removed. So this is a very universal problem and how to counter this? To counter this problem, we'll have to counter these bacteria and they cannot be countered in just one way. We have to have multiple ways to counter them. For example, let me uh, enumerate them. The number one would be brushing them away from the teeth two to three times a day. Less the number of bacteria in the mouth, lesser would be the severity of the attack. Number two would be using the appropriate toothpaste. You could use a paste containing fluoride if you are prone to cavities. And if you are more prone to cav uh, gum problems, you could use triclosan containing toothpastes. So select your toothpaste as per what kind of problems you are facing. Also, number three would be you could uh, kill this bacteria by using antibacterial mouthwash. Like chlorhexidine uh, can kill bacteria and the best time to use would be before you step out of the house in the morning and in the night when you go to bed. You can also uh, strengthen your teeth and gums. So number four would be like strengthening your enamel by means of using special applications of fluoride, which could be at home as well as in a dental clinic and also using certain mouthwashes and gels to strengthen your gums. So number five would be starve this bacteria by reducing the sugar content of your food. So less the sugar content, uh, less would be the harm produced by this bacteria. You can also improve your diet by reducing the acidic content of your diet. For example, the soft drinks which contain carbonic acid can dissolve enamel of the teeth and can help bacteria penetrate further into the teeth. So thereby, if you control uh, aerated drinks, you would be able to control the penetration of bacteria in the teeth. And lastly, uh, you can improve your cleaning uh, efficacy by additional means, not just by brushing and using toothpaste, but also additional means like using floss, using interdental brushes, or using a uh, water flosser. It has been found that water fl flosser is very helpful to people with uh, physical deficiency or weakness who are unable to brush their teeth efficiently. So water flosser is very useful in those people. And uh, this will supplement the use of your two to three times a day brushing. So in short, a healthy mouth means healthy body. 
And this is the first step towards your overall health of the body.